Next, we'll add some trees to the left hand side of the poster. So I'm going to left click on the middle tree in there and then hold down the Alt or the Option key to get the duplicate symbol and then drag that over towards the left hand side. Let go of the mouse, let go of the key and the keyboard. So yeah, that's fine. We have a tree, but it is an exact duplicate of the original. It doesn't really look that visually interesting. So we could do to make a couple of changes to this. Not least because, well, if we're going to make these trees lean in the way that the hill is angled, then this really needs to lean to the left hand side. So with that selected, I can go to the properties panel and we have a couple of flip options. You've got one where you can flip vertically, which isn't good in our case. So I can click back on that to put it back to its original position, or we can flip horizontally, which mirrors from left to right or vice versa. And that allows us to achieve two things. It looks slightly different because it is a mirrored version, but it also in mirroring it, it makes it lean towards the left hand side. What we can also then do is hover our cursor over the top corner of the bounding box to get the scale symbol, hold down the shift key and then click and drag to make it slightly smaller. I'll just move this out of the way. So that's one way of achieving that. The other is that if I select the tree over here that we made and then in the tools panel, buried underneath the rotate tool, the tool that we're really looking for in here is the reflect tool. So this is a, a more of a manual way of doing what we've just done from the properties panel. If I click on that, it keeps the object still selected. And then the idea is that you hover your cursor over the object and you click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down. And as soon as you drag, it creates a mirrored version, but it also has kind of a rotation functionality built into it. So you can mirror it and you can drag left and right to change the angle as well, if you wish to. Now, if I let go of the mouse, that's all well and good, but we just have the original tree there. So we haven't really benefited in any way from that. So if I go to the edit menu and choose undo reflect, I will then go down to the reflect tool and double left click on it. So you can double left click on most of the tools inside of Illustrator to get the options for that particular tool. And in this case here, it now has given me with the preview checkbox turned on a preview of what that looks like. I could also from here then, I could just drag this dial around, around the outer edge just to change the angle. So. I get to preview that and I don't feel quite as much under pressure to keep the mouse held down and drag left and right and things like that. If I don't need the angle value in there and I just want to do a straightforward horizontal or vertical mirror, I can just click on vertical and that will mirror it from left to right, of course. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, well, that's fine, but it, this is exactly the same as before, except down at the bottom, there's a copy option. So here we see nice and clearly on its own, a preview of what we'll get. Instead of clicking OK, which would just apply that to the original, if you instead click on copy, it puts the original back where it was, completely intact as it was before, and it creates a copy with those edits applied to it. So that's quite handy if you want to preview and experiment a little bit. I'll switch to my selection tool and then hover over that duplicated tree and just drag and move that over to the side. Again, I'll hover my cursor over the top right corner of the bounding box, hold down the shift key, and just scale that touch as well to make it look a little bit different and then click away. So those are mirroring options that you have inside of Illustrator. They're called flip, but they're really a mirroring feature.